Hey guys, welcome back to Railroads Online. Now today we have a very simple uh, job and it's collecting this and taking it down to the ironworks. Pretty simple, yeah? So let's get started. Isn't it funny how long this actually takes to do? I was looking at the coal mine the other day and that's actually uh, one third of the video, just me at the coal mine when we were loading. The unedited video. This one wasn't too bad, it's what, 10 minutes loading in, in total. And it's always the lining up, isn't it? When you get around here trying to line it up, each of those wagons, each of the flatbeds, stretch it, get it right with the cranes. As you can see, didn't quite get it right there. Now after the video I do another run. I actually use the mogul for that one. I hadn't brought that train down here yet. And it, it worked absolutely fine. And I extend the run around as well. We talk about up here where this loco is. Oh, let's join the action live again in a sec. Well, that was fun. And what we've got, 36. I'd have preferred to take more than that, but that's what we can take. So, probably going to have to come back here again. So, what is that? So, if we take that to the uh, ironworks, that will be 30 st 36 steel pipes and 36 tools. Which means we can make 36 oil. I think. Right, so the oil field, we have to go, go and get some more beams as well. Just looking over there. Look at my list. Oh, I think we... No, actually we've delivered all the beams, haven't we, already? Okay, that's good. It's what feels like the steep bit, doesn't it? There. Yeah, we're up the steep bit now. Oh, see you later, smelter. We'll be back later. It's a pretty rudimentary route now, isn't it? Just up here. Then along that uh, new bit of track. Quite simple. It's amazing how close we are to the end to actually producing refined oil. There really isn't much work to go, really, to do this. Right, so now we're going to take a left. I already set all the points when I came down here. So obviously that's uh, the sawmill there, obviously. Right, we've got another engine waiting for us here, so we're going to be playing tag team in a second. So we'll be de decoupling this one. We leave the, the Heisler here. And then we can reverse uh, the Mogul back onto our, uh, our wagons. I suspect you're going to need to be fired. Sitting here a little bit now, aren't you? Uh, fire temperature's not great. Should be enough to get us back there. And slowly does it. Guess what we haven't got that out. I can't believe it resets that every time. 
you trying to do a game safe? It resets it. Fine. Okay, I should have checked that, I suppose. No biggie. Got to remember to take the brake back off again once we've done this. Where's the brake? Go. <clears throat> Excuse moi. Uh, Same we do it layout. So we have it, and so off we go. Uh, good idea to put the reverse in the correct position. Just basically a straight run down now. Nice and easy. Ooh, which way is this facing? Ah, oh, he's facing correctly. And across our wonderful bridge. Now we sit back and watch her do a thing. Is there anything a double track in this? This is the fun of doing it, really. We come to here. I don't know how I messed that up. Should be faced the crap way. Yes. Which is good. And we come to a stop. Well, a bit unloaded then. I think that's our factor here. We're gonna. Well, we've actually only got 36 of these to start off with. 
so but we do have another 36 of these to go which we can make but we don't have any more coal so what does coal need again it needs rails we don't really rails the coal mine, I mean. These rails and beams. So we'd have to go all the way back to the iron ore again. Mine. <laughs> so the whole cycle starts again. We're going to have tools and things again. And I'll be saving before I actually uh, go and get those. Oh dear. I messed that up. I'm going to do this one. Do this one. I'm not going to take a chance to do that one. Have to reverse a bit. Then after that, we do the last one, and then we're done. Well, off camera, I'll be doing this all again. So we would have been able to make 36. This is what we made last time we came in, but we lost some of it. Really would like you to move. Oh, here we go. There, probably, or too far. That's quite possible as well. I've just gone too far. What do we think? Is it too far? <laughs> yeah, it's too far. It's possible you could offload in here, but I'm not taking the chance. Do I show you guys the whole process of getting coal all over again? <laughs> That'll be the third time if I do that. Right, so we unloaded. Let's just make sure we got our 36. So we've got a lot, lot of these now. 51, because we haven't used most of these. Thirty-six. There we go. That's better. So we have thirty-six in the car, so we've got thirty-six. Okay. Well, that's good. And actually, this is quite good because look how many can actually fit on this side. Now I'm thinking back to the refinery when we were wondering whether it's going to it's going to sit on the track or not. So we have three. I don't think that those two don't count, do they? They're just showing you what they are, I think. So I reckon you can fit 50 that side, which probably means you can fit 50 at the refinery on the left, which is excellent, excellent, excellent news. So we never get 50 there. Right, so next episode, we'll do the delivery here, we'll do the delivery to the refinery, and we might even do the final delivery, but I, I'm not sure. We might just do that as a separate episode. Um, 
have we got enough? Well, well yes. So what we're going to do then is deliver everything to the refinery, what we've got, and see if that's enough for one car. A car's worth of um, refined oil. Because that's the, that's the challenge. We need to make one full car's worth. After that, I'm, I'm happy we can do anything we want after that, but that was the challenge for this series. Anyway, for this one, it's a nice, easy episode. I like this type, this type of episode. I hope, hope you do too. Oh, look, these pulling apart. I'm going to have to undo all these, aren't I? Okay, well, I'll do that in between episodes. Oh, yes. Did you know, basically, as they can pull apart like this, it makes it more likely they actually are going to come loose. The only way you can actually uh, fix that is to pull the pin on them and then reverse them together again. Then you put the pins back in again. So, yeah, I'll be doing that. That's my next job. Fun times. Actually, I don't think it's that one, is it? That one. Right, guys, till next time, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and press that ding dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Bye, Z. Bye.